you know, I keep talking to these people. I meet, you know, I'll meet these people in the app or something like that. And then it'd be like, like, I'm like, do people not know how to have conversations anymore? Yeah. Like, I feel like you, <laughs> you know, you ask a question. We talk about something. Now you ask me a question or you ask me that same question. Yeah, back. but you like, got you have done this, you know, and I'm going to tell you, this is a this is something that I feel I really feel for female comics because the and 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 just in general, we as comics, well, it could be three. I say this all the be three comics that you don't even really fuck with. Just part of the community. And that could be the best night of you. Like we could laugh and enjoy each other's company. And we and then boom, there's we night. Those three people may never be together in the room again. And, and, it, and it will happen. And we do that over and over again. And so when you get a square dude and he's trying to be interesting or trying to be funny and you're like, Ugh, you you see it come in and you it just can't, becomes really because we you. You know, our job is kind of having that kind of mental sharpness. And but that's my thing. I'm always like, no, I know I could be charming because I charm rooms full of strangers every night. Right. But but what my therapist told me was this is what she told me. And she was like, this is a you problem. She said, yeah. um, she's like, what kind of we went through it. She's like, what kind of questions are you asking? And so I like gave her a list. And she was like, you ask a lot of closed ended questions. Mm -hmm. And she was like, and for men, she's like, you She's like, like what? What, would be, what would an example of a close ended question? She was like, be? when you're getting to know people, you ask. She was like, I ask questions like, oh, so where'd you grow up? Like, da -da -da -da. like that's only one answer. Like, that's not a right. Right. Like, what is hmm. you know, what you got to you got to you got to approach it. And this is this is a technique I, I would teach. I used to teach dudes all the time. If you go um, and it can be nonsensical because what happens it. It gives you it gives the person attach uh, the ability to attach their personality right. to the question. So if it's sort of like the Rorschach test. So if I go, um, if I go, if if you thought love was a color, what would that be and why? Now oh, you wow. gotta do have to think in terms. And now as soon as you like, if I'm on on a date and I ask a girl that question, now she has to think. She, she it has to go. What does it mean? And then what I'm doing is I'm I'm listening. I'm, I'm asking you're listening the question. To the answer. You're listening to the body because language. Because it's the, the sub. But I'm listening to the answer yeah, too yeah. because the subtext, the subtext of who she is and what she is and, and what she does gives you a dossier. So if you if you're trying to win the war, you know, you got to You got to You need the intel. So you right. shouldn't you should be listening and engaging because everything that you are is is permeates everything that you do. I'm learning that like I'm learning that about like she told me the same thing. Like so I came up with like really like I'm really working because I'm like I'm, I'm not really trying to do like another solo bid. Like I can't do it. Like mm. I, and so I um. I've been working on like what kind of questions I would ask about like, you know, what do you want to do? Like even after the pandemic, like kind of shit, like just, mm. you know what? And so, yeah. And I realized like if you give, well, again, these are things that I think, but I found like the people that I've encountered in terms like the men that I've encountered, like if you give a man an opportunity to give you a yes or no answer, that's all they're going to give you. And so yeah. I was like, OK, so I have to be better about that because so I know if you ask me a closing, I'm still going to keep going. Right. But, but that's because you're a comedian, a talker and somebody who is not is, is comfortable with that. And it's I'm funny. judging people based on yeah. me. And right. I realize I have to stop. Yeah, it's funny. I, I, the New York I got sent a New York Times article about uh, like these are the questions that lead to love. This is kind of interesting. So I guess you could use this because these are really open ended questions and they come in like okay. three sets of difficulty here. So one is like given the choice of anyone in the world, whom would you want as a dinner guest? Right. So if you look back at them and the, their first thing is to go like Meg the Hitler. Stallion. <laughs> like, who? Hitler. Hitler. You're like, oh, mm -hmm. boy. All right. I don't know if this is going to work. Mm, it's going to be a short one. Uh, and then like section two here. Let me see. These are kind of interesting. Uh, is there something you've dreamed of doing for a long time? Why haven't you done it? You know, that's that type of thing. So that would let you know a little bit about them. And then. Now, now you go into section three. If you make it through, like these get a really deep. Like, what is your uh, most terrible memory? I don't know if you want to ask that one, but it will lead. No. You, it will let you <laughs> what know is about the most terrible yeah. memory. Yeah. Mm -mm. How does that lead to anything fun? How does that like, lead to love? He's like the first when I found out I had herpes. 
it was <laughs> right, right, right. When I walked right. in the kitchen and my mom was there floating dead on the floor. That was scary, but how do you, like, what the fuck? Where you go yeah. from there? And there's this Isn't one. I don't, know how, that? I don't know how this helps. When did you last cry in front of another person? And oh, was God. It, yeah. Yeah. I saw another person. Why would you do it? What's this? I don't know. Ridiculous. I don't know. I like the first. Yeah. I like the initial ones because those are a little light and open ended. Yeah, That's you know? something yeah. I tell dudes all the, the time. Is person, given, have you ever given, seen a dead body? Yeah, <laughs> want to see a dead body? <laughs> yeah, I got two in my trunk. <laughs> it's you gotta you. The point of you meeting somebody is to get to know each other, and so if they're not, if you ask them questions where they have, like you said, where it's it's open ended. Not only that, but when you're doing that, if you really even, even people get a sense that you're listening to them, it makes them. It brings them closer to you yeah. because you're paying attention. There's this connection. The, but the reality is you're really trying to see if they're fucking crazy. So you want to see when the eye twitches and shit. But I mean, honestly, you want to. It's the whole point of the engagement. And I think even though you got to know what the destination is, I think you're I think you're dealing with it. You know, even when you're talking about it, you're dealing with it. So compartmentalized. And you got to treat it more like you like you do comedy. Like if it's cr what's crazy to me is the fluidity in, in the way that you do comedy is because you just let it happen. You yeah. you guide it here and there, but you let it happen and you enjoy it. It's, it's the same thing because but it's also you, about I mean, you know, like you want to show them the best of yourself and not and not be fraudulent like you want to be completely accurate with what you're doing. You want to see if they're accurate as well. But it especially is important when you're presenting that to a woman that you are as or a man or yeah. a man. Right. But women are a little more on guard with it. Guys, they should be more on guard with it, but they're not. They don't give a fuck what your answer is. Like, literally, if you're hot enough and they go, oh, I'd have dinner with Hitler. You'd be like, right. All right, I might not do day two, but let's see if we could how far date one will go because <laughs> guys are awful that way i feel like i'm better in person like i i am good to meet people in the real world i am not i have not been good online right right um, right but i feel like that's what it is now yeah i mean it, yeah well it is but i mean it, it's, it's gonna open up i mean it's it, there's something i do a lot of times when i get uh, guys who are like really shy i have like a little program that i go put them through and the first thing i do is i have them i have them lay we call it laying the five bricks where i go and i have them they have to pay a compliment to a woman five times a day every day with no intention on getting back not like she doesn't have to speak back i don't want you to engage her in conversation i don't i'm, I'm not telling you try to get the number I just want you to engage with her and with the woman in a in a respectful, nothing sexual, nothing creepy um, and some but something truthful and very specific. So um, like I would say, you know, I love how the big hoops on your ears bring out your your eyes. And it's just very something specific. And and, and I think a lot of times the repetition of doing that. Right. First, what it does is it, it it's like doing open mics. You don't have a fear. We do open mics because we don't believe we're funny. And when we do so much stage time that you believe that you're funny, all of a sudden, then you, you're able to access all the knowledge that you have in terms of how to do to do great comedy. Whereas when you're afraid, it instantly cuts off your ability, your connection with what you know how to do and whether your ability to execute it. So there's a relaxation that happens when they do five a day every day. And it's do not it. about it. Again, like you said, not being sexual. It's not at all about hitting on women. It's just literally you don't. It doesn't have to be sexual at all. It's just conversing so that you get paying attention to people yeah. looking yeah. at details, details. Kind of and yeah. Yeah. because if, if I if I if I if I, you know, if I look at you and go, oh, I'm, lo I'm loving your smoky eyes, you go, oh, this motherfucker, like, how how did I, thank you, right? Because she knows she was working on that shit all day, trying to get it right. And then you're 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 showing that in the detail. Detail is also important in eating pussy. If you got a nigga that's reckless, he's reckless in that. He's reckless and in everything nothing else. Nothing worse than a reckless pussy eater. Oh, I mean, just, just reckless. All you over just, the place. Just did I tell balls. you to keep still? Poke it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so it's it's interesting. I'm even like the subtext that everything we do. So it's even the awkwardness. Like even when you talk about it, you talk about it with an awk like 
Like it's a, it's a, like you look at your face, you are like it's. But the reality is that if you look at it, I mean, the perspective. If you look at it, this is an opportunity for me to engage in to in with other human beings, have this kind of social, which is which is really something I think people should take more um, revel at more since the COVID and we were so distant you know what i'm saying i I think this the social i think this really taught us how much the social aspect of things are just Mm -hmm. like my my buddy his son is uh three years old and he he um lives across the street from me and i've never wrestled with this kid like i never you know like i would have been laying out on the grass or the rug and wrestling with him and i've never even touched that kid you know and this is my man you know so (laughs) that's not like a defense in court but I think and, and I, I was saying this we were doing shows up on uh, at the penthouse for, with, and people was out there 17 degrees mm-hmm. in coats bundled up I, I went out and I was like I wouldn't pay to see me and be out here to see me right. y'all motherfuckers is crazy it's cold as shit but they need that social we we what we, what they think is essential what we we've learned if anything is what is essential mm-hmm. is not necessarily what we think we well but that's everybody yeah so when you're approaching somebody they need the contact too maybe in a different way but they want but you know what maybe not in even a different way when people think like it's almost like when you're looking up the ladder like if you think that somebody is more valuable than you then all of a sudden the, the contact is more important you know like if 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 somebody's with some like if you know if somebody likes somebody more than the other one the one that doesn't even if he's not a person or she's not a person who's really all of a sudden each everything means more it's like everything's more valuable because you perceive the person as better than you you man school 202 better hear what i've got to say because you won't get it again i'm not an alpha male i'm not a beta male either i'm just a better man better man put your happiness first because if you don't they won't